Pisces, how's it going? Come on in, sit down, have, have a seat, get comfortable. We are about to do your monthly tarot love reading for the month of June. This is a general reading for Pisces, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus signs. Again, this is a general reading, so it cannot possibly resonate with every Pisces on the planet. So if this doesn't feel like it fits you, don't try and force it, because if it doesn't fit you, it was meant for some other Pisces. That being said, if this doesn't resonate with you, be sure to check out your sun, moon, well, this is your sun, be sure to check out your moon, rising, and Venus sign. Even if it does resonate with you, you still might want to check out your sun, your moon, rising, and Venus sign videos anyway, because it can give you a different perspective on the situation you're in right now. But this is a love reading where we're going to check in on your past, present, and future energies of yourself, your person of interest, as well as the energy of the connection between you guys. Now I've already shuffled all this off camera, but I'm shuffling it one more time just so you can see me do it. Let's give these one more. So we're going to do the main part of the reading with this deck, which is the Radiant Wise Spirit deck, and we're going to clarify that reading with our Phantom Tarot deck. Okay, Pisces, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus, Romantic Love Life for June 2020. Let's see what we have here. Well, we got one already. I wanted to talk to you, Pisces. Yeah. Let's see. And the overall energy of your reading is the Five of Cups, which is sadness and remorse and regret. Looking back on the past, thinking about what might have been focusing on the three cups that have been spilled out and all the love and time and effort that's been spilled out and not paying attention to the two cups that are right behind you. Hmm, let's see what we have going on here for Pisces for June 2020. Well, in your recent past, Pisces, you have the three of pentacles, which is teamwork, collaboration, working together to build something. Your person of interest has the Ace of Swords, which is the Sword of Truth, um, the Sword of Victory, can represent clarity. And the energy between you is the Nine of Pentacles. So this is uh, abundance and self-sufficiency and being okay by yourself, not needing anyone else to take care of you financially or this is like, you know, with or without you or in spite of you, I'm abundant in my own right. Now, in the current energies, you have the Knight of Swords. Your person has the Page of Wands. And the energy between you is the Eight of Pentacles. And for your near future, you have the Five of Swords. Your person has the Star. And the energy between you is the Sun. So, let's see what we've got here. Okay, we'll have to clarify this. Sometimes, especially with the water signs, this stuff just does not make a whole lot of sense until I get clarification on some things. So, let's start with this Five of Cups as the overall energy. Why is the Five of Cups here for Pisces' overall energy of their love reading? Clarify this Five of Cups for Pisces. Clarify this Five of Cups for Pisces. Let's get two more for the Five of Cups. One more for the Five of Cups for Pisces. Why is the Five of Cups here? Okay. On the bottom of the deck, we got the Nine of Cups. Wish Fulfillment. Okay, so we got the Queen of Cups, the Queen of Pentacles, and the Moon card, clarifying the Five of Cups.
I'm not quite sure what this means. I'm going to be honest with you. Let's let's move on to the next card, and we'll see if we can figure this out in retrospect here, in hindsight. Why is the Three of Pentacles here for Pisces in their recent past energies? Let's get one more for the Three of Pentacles for Pisces in the recent past. Let's get one more for the Three of Pentacles. Why is the Three of Pentacles here? Okay, bottom of the deck, we got the Seven of Wands. So this is defending your position. clarifying the three of pentacles here which is teamwork collaboration working together we've got the high priestess and the hierophant here and the nine of wands this to me represents a divine connection a divine couple This could also represent you guys were working together on something in the past or you wanted to collaborate and team up with your person on something in the past. But something stopped you. You're, you're kind of walled off from it. Like you're walled off from the commitment of it. Or your intuition is telling you to wall yourself off from the commitment of it. Why is this Ace of Swords here for Pisces person in the recent past? What's truth, clarity? This can also be the, the sword that you would use to sever a relationship. So why is this Ace of Swords here? Clarify the Ace of Swords for Pisces person in the recent past. Clarify this Ace of Swords for Pisces in the recent past. Let's get two more for the Ace of Swords, please. Clarify the Ace of Swords. No, that's way too many. Can't take that many. If any of those need to come out, they will. And the Eight of Pentacles and the Ace of Swords again. Okay, so that's <clears throat> excuse me, Ace of Cups on the bottom. So your person has some clarity about something, and they want to come rushing in and speak their truth. Yeah, like they've been working on getting their clarity about what it is they want, and now they're rushing forward to speak their truth to you. And you seem sort of walled off about it. It's Ace of Cups on the bottom. This is like a, a love offer. This is new beginnings. So why is this Nine of Pentacles here, the energy between Pisces and their person? What do we got here? We got the Four of Swords come out. Why is this Nine of Pentacles here for Pisces and their person and the connection between them? Hmm. Still trying to figure out how this Five of Cups relates to this from the overall energy of the reading. Sometimes these don't make complete sense until we get towards the end, so bear with me if you're as confused as I am right now. Alright, let's see what we got here. Bottom of the deck, we got the Queen of Wands. That's someone who knows what she wants and she goes after it. Alright, so the connection between you is the Nine of Pentacles, and clarifying that, we have the Four of Swords, the Five of Wands, and the Empress. Let's see. Okay, in the recent past, you guys were both good on your own. You were both independent. 
and you guys have both taken some time to, to contemplate this and think about it, you know, we have some sort of conflict happening right before the birth of something new. So there, there's, you're conflicted, you guys are both conflicted about what it is you want, whether you want to, and see to me these two cards, they, this lady seems like a, very similar to me, even in the feeling of her. So you're, you're both abundant and totally okay on your own, but you're going in, you're both going inside because you're kind of conflicted about whether you want to start something new or not. Probably because of heartbreak from the past and sadness and regret from the past. Maybe there's some unfinished business from the past. We've got a Queen of Cups and a Queen of Pentacles here with the Moon card, which represents secrets, um, things being hidden in the dark, things that you're not aware of yet, things that you need to tap into your intuition to figure out. But you've both taken some time in the past to contemplate this, it looks like, and you were somewhat walled off. And it looks like your person figured out that they want they want you and they want to come rushing toward you. Now, in your current energy, you also have the Knight of Swords. So, and your person has the Page of Wands. So the Knight of Swords is rushing forward, taking decisive action, um, taking fast action, coming forward with the truth, speaking the truth. The Page of Wands for your person can represent, I mean, this is like the minor arcana of the Fool, so this can represent taking the initial steps on something, uh, messages or news of passion, um, having the uh, excitement and the ambition to take those first steps, and the energy between you is, again, the Eight of Pentacles, which represents putting in work on something. Paying attention to the details, mastery. So let's clarify this Knight of Swords for Pisces. Why is this Knight of Swords here for Pisces? We got the Two of Swords, some sort of decision that needs made, but it's not being made because you don't see all the options or you're refusing to see all the options. There's something that you're you're not seeing, you don't have all the facts. Why is <clears throat> okay, well, okay, okay. We've got the Nine of Cups on the bottom, wish fulfillment. So, clarifying this Knight of Swords, we got the Two of Swords, the Five of Cups again, the Five of Swords, the Queen of Swords. There's a lot of swords here, good lord, and the Ace of Cups. So, yeah. The, you're still focused on something from your past that hurt you. Something wasn't right that happened. And you're trying to make a decision and... Okay, you're trying to make a decision to cut off the things that don't serve you from the past anymore. And you want a new beginning in love, a new emotional connection. And it looks like you're, you're currently going to rush forward with the truth of that. You're going to bring that to your person's attention. And it looks like that you view them as wish fulfillment on some level. So let's clarify this Page of Wands for your person's current energy. Why is the Page of Wands here for Pisces person's current energy? Let's get two more for the Page of Wands, please. Oh, there we go. Looks like they wanted to give us three, so we'll take it. Nine of Cups again. Wish fulfillment again. It's looking pretty good so far. Looks like you and your person both went through something in the past. and Your person wants to take those beginning steps with you. They, they have passion for you. They want to move forward with you. And it's like they're waiting on that to happen. And it's kind of burdensome waiting. So it's like they're waiting for you to come forward with this. And there's been some sort of complete... Oh, okay. They, It's burdensome. The waiting is burdensome. And, and they're ready for completion of that cycle. And then we have the Six of Cups. So this can represent someone from the past. Oh, okay, so maybe there's a completion of the cycle with someone from the past now. 
and they're ready to move forward with you and they're just kind of waiting on that to happen because they see you as their wish fulfillment. So let's clarify this Eight of Pentacles as the current energy between you and your person. Why is this Eight of Pentacles here? What do you guys want to put work in on? Or what are you putting in work on? Why is this Eight of Pentacles here? Okay, let's see. We have... We have... Ooh, the tower on the bottom of the deck. Okay. And clarifying the Eight of Pentacles, we have the Ace of Wands, which represents a passionate new beginning. Uh, new ideas. You're working on a new beginning. We got a King of Wands and a King of Swords here. So the King of Wands knows what he wants, and he goes after what he wants with determination and, and vigor and will. And he usually gets what he wants because he just won't stop. This can also represent, you know, someone who is attractive and full of charisma. And then we got the King of Swords, which represents putting your head over your heart, um, trying to analyze the facts and the truth of the matter, and not allowing your emotions to cloud your judgment, because it's about making the best decision for everyone involved. Whoa, hey, we got a big wind gust here, blowing cards everywhere. Oh goodness, let's see where this was up here. Okay. So, it, it looks like you guys are both willing to put in the work on a new beginning at this point, and it's the best decision for both of you because that's what you both want. And you, you're ready to move forward with this person and, and bring forward the truth that you're ready to cut off the things from the past that don't serve you and have a new emotional beginning with them. And they're ready for that because they're actively waiting on that from you. And they're ending, they've ended a cycle with someone from their past. Yeah, and... Even though you've both been through some rough stuff in the past, you're both willing to put in the work on this because it's something that you both want, which is a passionate new beginning. Now, in the near future, Pisces, you have the Five of Swords, which can represent um, winning at all costs. Um, this can also represent repeating cycles from your past that you know are detrimental to you, but you're just for some reason repeating the cycle anyway. We'll have to clarify that and see what it means. But your person has the star, which is hope and healing. And to me, this, this feels like your person views you as the universe has handed them some sort of gift. And the energy between you guys is happiness and harmony and everything being... I mean, this is the happiest card in the tarot deck. So that's all good stuff. Why is this Five of Swords here? That's the only part that concerns me about this near future. Why is the Five of Swords here for Pisces in the near future? Let's clarify this Five of Swords. Alright, we got Justice. Let's clarify this Five of Swords. Let's get two more for the Five of Swords, please. Clarify this Five of Swords for Pisces. Two more for the Five of Swords. That's where sometimes these cards just like clam up on me and stop wanting to talk. And then as soon as I bring that up, then they start jumping. See, they start jumping out again. Okay, okay, okay. This one was not supposed to come. We got the Four of Pentacles on the bottom, holding on to something really tight, not wanting to let it go. Okay, so clarifying this Five of Swords, this is tit for tat, arguing, um, winning at all costs, it could be cheating, it could be you've won, but what, have you actually won because you've kind of pissed everybody off and they've all walked away from you? Um, but clarifying that, we have Justice, so... We have the Six of Wands, which is victory. We have the Three of Cups, which is 
celebrating and being reunited. Then we also have the Seven of Cups, which can represent choices and options and confusion because there are all these different cups with something in it, but not all of these options are viable options. So this is a, a card about being confused with all the options, being unsure of which option to choose. But it looks like the right thing is going to happen, which just will happen. And you will be victorious and be and be celebrating. So Five of Swords. I'm not quite sure what Maybe maybe you're internally conflicted because you have options now and you're going to choose the option that's best for you and you're going to be victorious and celebrating by the time it's over with. <clears throat> Why does Pisces person have the star as their near future energy? Let's clarify the star for Pisces person. Let's clarify the star for Pisces person. Okay. Yeah, I think your person views you as a gift from the universe. They just got the sun. You make them happy. They view you as their one. And the sun is also the energy between you guys in the near future. So I think it looks like your person is clear on what they want, which is you. And it looks like you go from being semi walled off about it to debating over it, to realizing that, yeah, you, you do want them to, to back to being a little bit confused about the situation, only to realize that, yeah, it's, it's become clear to you that you want them as well. Let's clarify the star. Let's get two more for the star for Pisces person. Let's get two more for the star here. We got the Ten of Pentacles. Happy life, happy wife, uh, everything's stable and secure, and you're building a legacy. Your person views you as their, their stability and their happiness and a gift sent to them from the universe. Let's get one more for the star. Why is the star here for Pisces person in the near future? Well, we got the star again. And we got the King of Pentacles. So yeah, they definitely view you as the, their stability, their their happiness. That's something that's been sent to them from the universe. That you're their one and they know it. And they've gone inside to contemplate that to figure it all out at some point. Why is the sun here as the energy between Pisces and their person in the near future? Why is the sun here? Clarify the sun, please. Clarify the sun. Get two more for the sun, please. See, here they are again trying not to talk to me anymore see if that makes any jump. Clarify the sun. There we go. Okay, thank you. On the bottom of the deck, we have the three of swords. Okay. So, clarifying the sun is the energy between you and your person in the near future. We have the nine of swords, which is fear and anxiety and worry and losing sleep about something, having nightmares about something. You got the Queen of Wands. And she knows what she wants. She's in touch with her intuition. She's sexy. Um, she goes after what she wants with passion and drive and determination. I, I, I think that 
both? Oh, okay. Yeah, here. We'll get to that in a sec. There's balancing, juggling going on, trying to figure out the pros and cons, trying to get your balance back. Having one foot in, one foot out type deal. But then there's also passionate communication, um, passionate rapid action. On the bottom of the deck, we have the Three of Swords and the Lovers. So it seems to me like even in the near future, you guys are going to be happy, but there's still some elements of heartbreak from the past that have got you guys both stuck in your head and worried. Maybe you're worried that things from the past will repeat themselves. I don't, I don't, but you both want each other. You're both passionate about each other. You're both communicating that fact. You're both taking actions towards that. You're just, you're both still struggling to balance things out in your mind. So overall, this looks like a good reading, Pisces. I hope this has helped you. Um, be sure to smash that like button and let me know that this resonated with you. And if you don't mind, leave me a comment down below and let me know how specifically this relates to your situation. And if you haven't already done so, be sure to hit that subscribe button so you'll always get to see the new readings I post for you every week. So until then, this has been your reading. I hope it helped, and I will see you next time. Bye-bye.